Welcome to today's Beyond Trust session. We're going to talk about password safe and proxy sessions leveraging existing connection manager tools. This is an architecture diagram for password safe cloud. And here in the middle, we can see our password safe user. Traditionally, a password safe user would log on to the password safe UI. And from there, they'd be able to check out passwords and sessions retrieving an RDP file that they execute, which then gets them connected to the asset along with the authentication and injection of vaulted credentials. This is where we can leverage existing connection manager tools rather than checking out sessions through the password safe UI. I hop over to my demo environment. We're going to step into the shoes of our uh, trusted administrator user, M Davis. And she's uh, logged on here with her standard AD account to her laptop. And typically, when she needs a password or a session, she would go through the password safe UI. But again, the focus of today is showing how we can leverage existing connection manager tools for those sessions. Now, her preferred tool is Mobile Xterm, but um, Direct Connect is what the this integration is called at Beyond Trust. It works with pretty much any connection manager tool. So whether it's WinSCP or NG Remote or Rocket Remote Desktop Manager, uh, it really comes down to the configuration of those connections. So there, there are no requirements, infrastructure requirements. You don't have to deploy any DLL files or plugins or drivers. Uh, none of that is required. I'm going to get into how those connections are set up here in a little bit. First, let's check out and see how it works in action. So in this case, Martha has a list of frequently used connections. And we're going to start down here. Windsor 2019 is one of the Windows servers that she works on a lot. And it's configured to use her vaulted-admin account in Active Directory. So from here, she can right click and execute. Now she's been prompted for a password. This password is just the same password that she would use to log onto her laptop or to the password safe UI. So not the password for this vaulted account. Once confirmed, that request is passed through to password safe and it's being evaluated uh, based on the access policy. Is the user to allow this account? Is the user to allow to log on to this asset? Um, is the user allowed to log on based on location, IP address, is based on schedule, and so forth. So if that passes through, then the connection is simply being established. So this is a just standard, straightforward RDP connection to the server. But there are other use cases that are supported with Direct Connect that can be set up in your connection manager. Other RDP sessions are sessions directly to applications that we manage access and credentials for. So in this case, she has an application for ADAC, Active Directory Users and Computers, and it's set up the same way as a just plain RDP connection, but instead of loading that, um, it's connecting to an RDS server and launching directly into the app that we want to make available. So you can see here, uh, only the app loaded, nothing else. So we can really limit the access to just the application rather than giving access to the entire server. And so now, based on the rights of this vaulted user that is used for, for la launching, accessing this application, we can now operate within. Now, both sessions are indeed proxy, even though they were initiated from this connection manager tool, MobaxTerm. So if you hop over to password safe as a security analyst, we go to the menu and then active sessions, refresh here, we can see the two sessions that are currently active. So this view allows us to assess all of the proxy sessions that are going on in a given time. And we can see the two sessions that our user M. Davis just checked out. You can clearly see when it started, what system is being accessed. And 
here on the reason we see direct connect. So that clearly indicates that this is a connection that was initiated from an external tool using direct connect. And so again, with like with any other connections that were checked out through the password safe UI, we can monitor these sessions, we can manage them, we can terminate them if we have to, if we see any suspicious activity, uh, we can lock them, freeze them here too. And so if we look at the uh, user's view here, we can see that uh, that session is simply frozen, but not lost. So if everything checks out, if there's turns out there's no security concern, we can unlock that session. I just wanted to highlight that because it simply works the same way for direct connect sessions as for you know, sessions that are checked out through the password safe UI. And besides RDP, we also support SSH based connections with direct connect here. We have a connection to a Linux system. And again, Martha needs to authenticate with her standard password. And now she's logged on to this device proxy through password safe and logged on with mdavis underscore ssh, a vaulted privileged accounts on that system. All right, so this is kind of the user experience. Now let's have a look and see how it actually works. Uh, the trick really is how the connection is set up. So if you take a look at our Windsor 2019 connection here, you can see that for remote host, instead of pointing directly to the target, to the endpoint, Windsor 2019, we point to the password safe server. This is the name of my password safe server node. And we do that on port 4489. This is the standard port that password safe is listening on for direct connect requests. And then here in the username field, this is where we populate the attributes that we pass along to password safe for this connection. So starting with who we are, uh, this is M Davis, uh, AD account separate, separated by a plus sign. We then pass along which account we want to check out from the vault. So it's the uh, AD based M Davis dash ADM account. And after another plus sign, we then specify the name of the asset as it appears in password safe. So with this configuration, when we send this off to password safe, it evaluates, again, if the user is allowed based on role access control, access policy settings, and if everything checks out, then the session simply loads in the user's connection manager tool. Very similar to configuration to the other apps, slightly different based on host name, based on protocol, but that's essentially how it works. Now, one aspect that I want to highlight here is that Direct Connect is currently not supported with, in conjunction with SAML authentication. So if your users are set up to authenticate with SAML to password safe, then that does not work with Direct Connect because Direct Connect, uh, or I should say SAML is, is a web-based, browser-based authentication method and it simply is not compatible with the, the tools and, and how we authenticate those sessions. Uh, this, to my knowledge, is something that affects all PAM vendors. So Beyond Trust is not alone with that limitation on Direct Connect. So you have a couple different options. You know, for users that really need and want to leverage Direct Connect, you can set them up simply as AD users in Password Safe, or you can set up a secondary account, like uh, quote unquote direct connect account that's AD based. And they would use that instead of their SAML account if they want to leverage um, direct. In terms of um, MFA, so we do support radios in password safe, which can be layered on to AD authentication and that will allow you to enforce an MFA prompt on every single connection before the session is fully loaded. So that works in conjunction with local accounts or AD accounts in password safe. And yeah, the last thing here I wanted to mention is if you want to know the exact connection string that you need for your direct connect, you can just log on to password safe, find the connection that you're interested in, like this one here, 
And then there's a direct connect tab and you can copy the connection string right from here and then paste that into the configuration of your connection. So this would be the equivalent to what I have in my username field. This made all sense and thank you for watching. Have a great day.